Good morning. Is this Mr. Dickens's? Yes, that's right. Well, I'm a plumber. I've come to see your old geezer. Our old geezer? Oh, Mum! The man here wants to see you. All right, I'm right, coming. Wait a minute. I'm just putting the lid on the second you put it. Now then, young man, what did you say? I said I'd come to see the old geezer. Look here, who are you calling a geezer? I'd have you know I'm a respectable married woman with the marriage lines and five children, and they're in the tea caddy this minute. I won't stand here and be insulated by the likes of you. You're making a mistake, Mrs. Higgins. I said nothing wrong. I only said... Of course you did. You insulated me on my own doorstep. Mrs. Higgins, I assure you... I don't wish you to insure me. If you're the man from the Prudential, let me tell you... I'm not the man from the Prudential. I'm a plumber. Oh, you're a plumber. Well, why didn't you say so, instead of standing there with your mouth shut talking nonsense? What do you want? Well, the landlord sent me to do some repairs in your bathroom. Well, you can't go in my bathroom. Why not? Because there's somebody in the bath. It's my gentleman lodger. Well, then, I'll have to wait till he's finished his bath. He isn't having a bath. Well, then, what's he doing in the bath? He sleeps there. Well, Mrs. Higgins, if I don't do the job this morning, it might never get done. We're very busy, you know. Oh, well, I'll send up word. Pansy? Yes, ma'am? Run upstairs and tell Mr. Spongebag he's got to get up. Tell him it's opening time. That will rouse him. All right, ma'am. And listen, young man, I hope you won't be long on the job because I shall be wanting that bath myself soon. <laughs> Practicing for swimming the channel, eh, Mrs. Higgins? <laughs> no, I don't wish none of your sarcastic remarks. If I says I want my own bath, I want it. I'm not going to give me wise and me wherefores to a bandy legged, boss eyed, pipe sucking plumber. Here, draw it mild, Mrs. Higgins, draw it mild. You know, you can't talk to me same as if I was one of your kids. No, Mr. Plummer, and you can't talk to me same as if I was one of your wash basins. Can't you stand a joke, Mrs. Higgins? Of course I can stand a joke. Haven't I stood one for the last 25 years in the shape of my old man? But what you said wasn't a joke. It was a jive, and jives I will not have. You remind me of my friend Mrs. Harris next door, the back-biting cat. She says one thing, means two, and then laughs in your face behind your back. Mum, Mr. Sponge Bag says it's all right. The gentleman can come up. Oh, it isn't a gentleman, it's a plumber. You'll find the bathroom upstairs on your left, young man. Just past the room where we've cut the door off. Right you are, Mrs. Higgins. I'll go up. Just see what there is to do. <laughs> yes, and don't forget what I told you. I shall be wanting myself soon. And when I want it, I shall come in whether you're there or not. <laughs> well, in that case, Mrs. Higgins, I shall take a long time over the job. <laughs> you saucy out. <laughs> you would. <laughs> You're a plumber. <laughs> Whatever is that plumber doing of, Pansy? Go upstairs and tell him he's shaking all the plaster into my steak and kidney pudding. Yes, ma'am. Now look at that, Pansy. Tell that cannibal to come down and look what he's done. What's the matter, Mrs. Higgins? What's the matter? You may well ask what's the matter. You've been and shook all the things off me whatnot. What? Not off your whatnot? Yes, off me whatnot. There they are on the floor. My coat of arms, China. My seashore shells. My Queen Victoria on her diamond jubilee in a plush frame. Well, I'm sorry if I've done that, Mrs. Higgins. But a plumber can't work without hammering, you know. Well, just try and hammer a bit softer. Right you are, Mrs. Higgins. Sorry. Just fancy having a man like that for a husband. Fancy, if ever you get married, be sure you never marry the man what gets his little with an hammer in his hand. One drink too many, and you might pick the good... Oh, good gracious. It's enough to take the steak and kidney out of your pudding. Thank goodness he's stopped a minute. Now, there's someone at the door. I wonder who it can be. How it's you, is it, Mrs. Harris? Good morning. Don't you good morning me, Mrs. Higgins. What's all this here banging going off in your house, I'd like to know? Shook all the pictures off my walls, you have. Well, that's a bare-faced lie, Mrs. Harris. Because you ain't even got paper on your walls, let alone pictures. 
And if you interfered less with other people's houses and looked after your own a bit better, we shouldn't see the sanitary inspect at your door so often. I'll scratch your spine eyes out, you old faggot. I'm no faggot. You keep your incivilizer out and remark to yourself. If you don't, no, I'll you give you the money. Here, 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 here. What's all this row about? I can't get on with my work. Oh, so it's you must be making all the noise, is it? Yes, it's him must be making the noise, and he's going to make a lot more. You go back to your work, Mr. Plummer, and don't forget, I'm waiting for that there bar. Well, if there's any chance of a good scrap, I'm stopping here. Oh, it's a scrap you want, is it, young man? Oh, no, no, I don't want no scrap, Mrs. Higgins. Then get back to your hammering, and think hard on your hammer. And if you can hammer hard enough for this lady's feelings to drop in, I shall be much obligated to you. Right you are, Mrs. Higgins. And as for you, Mrs. Harris. Bar to you. And so to you. Take your foot out of my door. I'll go down to the car. I'll come in. I'll go down to the car. 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 I'll go down to the now I'm going to dinner. Well, that's a nice thing. First of all, you're not present with what not. Now you cut me water off. You ain't going to leave me like that, are you? What's the good of a bath without any water? All right, all right. I'll be back in a couple of hours. What's the hurry all at once? You don't have a bath, Mrs. Higgins? Well, it's no business of yours. But I'll tell you. <laughs> you see, it's my birthday. <laughs> I see. So you're going to have the annual, eh? Nothing of the kind. I'm expecting a present from my sister in the country. Oh. What's that got to do with the bar? Well, you see, she's sending me a couple of ducks. <laughs> <laughs>